My name is Steve Tracy, and today I'll be talking to you about uh, Middle Age Barbarian Art. So a little background about the Middle Ages. It began when the last Roman Empire was defeated in 476 AD. And once the emperor fell, it was the mark of the beginning of the Renaissance. And here's a map of the Middle Ages before the empire fell. As you can see, the Holy Roman Empire took up the majority of Europe and the Kingdom of France, a little bit less. And the reasons why such a large empire could have fallen is the Romans, they were overexpanding their territory. They were overspending on their military. Uh, Eastern Europe was growing. There was government corruption and much more. But the main reason for the collapse of uh, the Roman Empire was the invasion of the barbarian tribes. The barbarians constantly attacked the empire from outside of their borders, and once they successfully took down Rome, the fall of the empire began. And a little about the barbarian time period. The barbarians, they received their name from the Romans because the Romans saw them as foreigners, which is another name for barbarians. Uh, the Romans saw them as crude because they were nomadic, and they were seen as a lower level of culture than the settled citizens in Rome. The barbarians would continually invade Rome, and by the year 600 AD, the invasions were over. And as they invaded Rome, Christianity spread throughout the empire. So the role of art in the barbarian time period is, uh, the role that art plays in this time period is that it helps to make the culture more aware of their past with the use of Herbert, Herberno Saxon manuscripts, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And it also gives new ideas of what art can be and can help to solidify the role of a king. So the first piece of art I'm going to talk about is the Sutton Hoo purse cover. And this was found at the burial ground at Sutton Hoo. And it has a length of about seven inches and is made with gold, with garnets and enamels. Uh, animal designs are visible, as you can see, right down here. It looks like someone with a dog or some kind of cat, um, some kind of bird, and maybe a horse. And these animal designs were very, very prevalent in art in Northwestern Europe. And animal designs were often used with interlace, which is patterns formed with intricately woven ribbons and bands. And it is visible at the top center of the Sutton Hoo purse cover, as you can see. Sorry, it's a little small, but there's little ribbons going in and out of each other with patterns. Uh, as I mentioned before, the Herberno Saxon manuscripts, which are copies of Christian sculptures, they were all copied by hand because there was no printing press back then. And monks were the ones that were trusted with copying these. And when they copied them, they also illuminated them, which means they were furnished with illustrations and decorations. And following the illuminated manuscripts in the 12th century, urban books sellers began to market other illuminated manuscripts, like Books of Hours, which are just Christian devotional books, Psalters, which is a book that contains the Book of Psalms, and other prayer books to wealthy individuals. An example I have up here is the Gospel Book of Duros, which is the Book of Matthew. Uh, the next example I have is Carolingian writing, which is it's right. Carolingian. 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 Okay. And this is when writing became art. It is a standard form of writing that used as a basis for modern Europe printed alphabet. Uh, it has very uniform type of writing. It has curved and rounded letters, as you can see. And there was uh, clear capital letters and spaces in between words, which we may think is basic, but back then it was very helpful to make it clear and easy to read. And this came about when the Emperor Charlemagne took over. And Charlemagne was a powerful Frankish king who eventually gained control of most of Western Europe. He was considered holy because he was a Christian king. And as to follow the rulers before him, he took a lot of interest in art and cultural manners. 
And one of the things he did because he took such interest in art and cultural manners is he had the Palace Chapel of Charlemagne built. Um, and it was basically built just because he ordered it. Um, the architecture gives many clues to his ambition. I believe I can see a little bit of Gothic traits in it. Um, not that he was copying Gothic, because I don't know if it was around then. Um, but it was very detailed on the outside. Um, and Charlemagne wanted to copy the perfection of an octagonal church, which you can see in the outline here. Uh, the octagon-shaped room that is a nave, and there's two chapels connected to it in a sanctuary. And this was mentioned, this was modeled after San Vitale, who uh, Charlemagne admired. Uh, Large-scale buildings were not built when the barbarians were moving in. It was not until Charlemagne was king that they were built. And at this time of construction, it was the largest church north of the Alps. So, in summary, uh, the Middle Age barbarian time period was a time period that introduced many new pieces of art and restored and improved some of the most important scriptures ever to be written. And also, architecture was improved with the Palace of the Chapel of Charlemagne being built when Charlemagne was king. There are my references. What object? Uh, I'm going to choose the, the purse cover. So the purse cover. Mm -hmm. The purse cover? Mm -hmm. oh, purse. Purse.